first card we have Leo is locked second card we have authority third card we have is drama and then we got long term so there is something that may be out of your control Leo we got outside forces and um not only that there's something that you may not know but you also may end up finding out about Leo for some of you guys some of y'all may have been dealing with a snake you may have been dealing with somebody that has been deceptive towards you so it's telling me Leo that some of you guys obviously may have been in a connection with somebody right um, some of y'all may have dealt with somebody that got out of jail. Maybe this person got out of jail, Leo, and you may have been in a connection with this person ever since they got out of jail because we got authority right here for some of you guys. Some of you guys, it could be saying that it, it doesn't have to be jail. It could just be saying that you have been in a relationship with somebody, but it was like y'all in a relationship, but y'all not. Maybe y'all have been in like a friends with benefit connection with someone. The rest, you guys, it could just be saying that um, y'all was dealing with this person, but they was doing no. You see what I'm saying? At the same time. Take what resonates. I'm seeing it three different ways, Leo. But put it like this. Y'all been dealing with somebody, right? And it's like they may have been trying to control the situation, what they got going on with you. But something happened where y'all may get into it with somebody, with this person. But we're going to clarify. We're going to pump the brakes a little bit and start clarifying these cards. Because I strongly feel like there is somebody that you may have been dealing with, Leo. But it's like they was yours, but they may not have been yours at the same time. You see what I'm saying? So let's see. Clarify lock and authority. Off in authority. Some of y'all's person could be on probation or parole, or maybe they just got out of um already said jail. If not that, they may have just got off of probation or parole. Ooh, we got self-indulgence. So, yes, y'all definitely was in a connection with somebody that only cared about themselves with y'all. Some of y'all may have even lost yourself dealing with this person at one point in time. Because even if you felt like you was locked down, like you was tied down in a relationship with somebody, your person was being a snake. Because we got girl with the snake. So some of y'all, your person was giving to another connection. And maybe the person that your person was giving to, that they were spoiling. Because some of y'all, your person was spoiling somebody and it could have been a narcissist. Or your person could be a nurse. It don't have to be. But I just felt like a lot of y'all may have lost yourself in this connection at one point in time. Leo, dealing with this person. And um, the person was trying to control you. Maybe you was in a controlling relationship with this person. You know, like I said, maybe y'all was in a relationship. But then again, it's like y'all wasn't. Or maybe y'all was back and forth. Some of y'all was back and forth in a relationship with this person. You know, but... I am seeing that the back and forth or the um the insecurity that y'all had in y'all relationship it caused you to lose yourself and it and um I just feel like because your person was giving to another individual whether they was giving to um another nurses or they was I mean they was giving to a nurses outside of y'all connection or you could have been um with a narcissist. Or it could just been dealing with a karmic, a regular karmic. Y'all just take what resonates. I'm seeing, I'm seeing so many different messages now. Clarify drama and long term. Okay. So there is some drama that may have happened, Leo, where you may have found out this person was already in another connection with somebody else. Whether they was married or not or engaged. Some of y'all probably was arguing because maybe you guys were engaged or married and you found out this person was already engaged and married to somebody else some of you guys just like i said bear with me take what resonate it's not going to resonate with everybody so just take what resonate with you and leave out what does not 
resonate with you. We got healthy choices. Yep, y'all, your person, y'all could be arguing because it's like you get to the point where you choosing yourself, Leo. Maybe you're trying to leave this person after you confront them about, you know, getting to it with them about another, you know, another person. Now, if you don't argue with this person, it could just be saying that you got into it with somebody else that your person holding on to in the background. You see what I'm saying? But I am getting that energy where somebody could be conflicted about the simple fact that somebody is in another connection with somebody else and they didn't know about it until now. Or you could just be conflicted about the, the simple fact that y'all have been rocking with this person for so long and y'all thought that y'all relationship was gravy. It was good. You know, it was a healthy relationship. Come to find out they married or committed to somebody else. They in the background spoiling a whole another individual. Because I feel like you thought you were the king or the queen in this situation. You see what I'm saying? You thought that you had this person tied down. But no, your person was in the background indulging in another connection with somebody else, Leo. That's what, re what it really was. Because they didn't know who they really wanted to be with. So they was going back and forth between you and another person. Some of those person was fooling you too. But like I said, they was indulging into another individual also, Leo. You know, you thought y'all relationship was good. You thought y'all relationship was solid. We got photo we got photograph right here. So it's telling me that after this commotion, right? You chose yourself. I feel like this energy has already passed. After this commotion, right, between you and this person, I feel like your person could still be conflicted over the simple fact that you have chose yourself, Leo. And now they miss you. So, okay, there could have been, this is a place of events. This is like certain events that have happened, series of events that has happened. Because I got a feeling this energy has already happened. So it's telling me now your person in this energy of, you know, being conflicted, you choosing yourself, you know, and them being in another connection with somebody else they have been rocking with for a while also. So it's like they are missing you. Somebody in this, like, nostalgia type of energy, Leo, over the simple fact that you have chose yourself. Okay, let's let's pull some more cards, because this, I got a feeling this energy is about to get a little bit deeper. So I'm about to pull two more of these and two more of these, because I feel like this is the past energy, this is the present energy, what, how your person is, you know, thinking. Because, to be honest, Leo, if you haven't heard from this person and you left this person ever since the situation has happened between y'all because I am seeing that. I feel like your person got some drama going on with the person that they have been rocking with longer than you. You see what I'm saying? And now it's like you they realizing that you was the most healthier choice that they were supposed to choose. Like you was the one that wasn't toxic. But the person that they chose over you or the person that they was dealing with behind the scenes we can say was the person that they have been rocking with for a very long time. You see what I'm saying? You were just the one that that's, that has just escaped from this from this connection with this person because you realize you were losing yourself dealing with them. But I strongly feel like a lot of y'all was dealing with a narcissist. It's just that they had you, you know, and they had somebody else at the same time and you didn't know about it until you figured until you found out and that caused you to walk away. So let's keep it moving. What's going to happen, Leo? We need to know what's getting ready to happen because I strongly feel like right now your person is in their head about choosing you, not being, you know, just you choosing yourself and knowing that you was a healthier option for them, right? And they missing you. So what's getting ready to happen? We need to know what's getting ready to happen. So we got unfolding. We got brilliance. And then we're going to clarify again. Yeah, I just got, got a feeling this energy has already passed. But just know that right now your person is missing you. Because you was, the, you was the more, like, you was the one that was really for them for real. But they just had to draw you in the mix of some drama. And you just wasn't up for that. You didn't sign up for that. You did not sign up for that. So you rolled out. You left. So we got date. And we got girl talk. So it's telling me that 
your person is slowly like growing up. Like it's like they waking up because we got unfolding right here. See this plant? It looks like a fake plant, but it may be real. I don't know. But this person is slowly like it's like they trying, they want to do right by you now, Leo. You know what I'm saying? It's like they are in their head, right, about the choices and, and stuff that they have made in order to, you know, push you away. And they miss you, right? But it's like they starting to really, like, sit and think about what they need to do in order to make it up to you because they are want to grow. They do want to grow up, put it like that. Your person do want to grow up because... I just felt like your person has developed some feelings for you over time during this separation. Maybe they always have feelings for you, Leo, but like I said, they just could not keep, you know, you just didn't want to get in the between of no entanglement. You didn't want to get no entanglement, so you left. But I just felt like your person does slowly want to, like, open up and be there for you, Leo, and they're trying to figure out how can they do that because we got brilliance right here. They're trying to think of a way on... How can they basically re-spark your interest again with them? You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know if you really do feel for them like you used to, Leo. They just don't know. So it's like they want to start all over and they want to date you all over again, Leo. Now, it's telling me your person could be asking about you, you know, through friends and family members, Leo. Some of y'all, y'all could be dating somebody new. Some of y'all are mixing and mingling with other people, and you could be dating somebody new. So at this point, your person is missing you, and um, they they is going to come forward, but they're they're dragging their feet to do so because they're thinking about how can they get you back. And their way of trying to get you back is by asking you know about you first to to get a feel of where you at. Because at the end of the day, this person still loves you. Some of y'all still love this person too, because I don't feel like the love has left. I just felt like you have left because you wasn't about to be in no entanglement and you're not, you wasn't about to be a choice. If you wasn't a priority, you was going to walk away. And that's exactly what you did. You chose yourself. You chose to love yourself, Leo. Some of y'all's person definitely looking at your photos. They really is. But just know your person is planning to come forward and, you know, and reach out to you and talk to you and stuff like that because they, the love is still there, Leo. But let's keep it moving. Like I said, some of y'all could be dealing with a narcissist. Some of y'all are not dealing with a narcissist. So y'all just take what it resonates. Because some of y'all, I'm getting that it, your, your person is not a narcissist. The person that they've been holding on to, that they may have been committed to for a while, whether they was engaged or married to this person or not, it could be a, a, just a baby mom that just been around for, for years. But it's telling me that person that they had in the background, that person was toxic. That person kept up a lot of drama. Some of y'all, y'all person was toxic too. Let's just keep it a being. Like some of y'all, y'all person was toxic also, you know? And but at the end of the day, you was more of a of a healthier option towards them. And they missed that. They missed the 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 way things were when they were dealing with you. Because it wasn't no drama. It was more peaceful. You see what I'm saying? But the minute they went back to that ex. Or the minute they start to deal, you know, and getting engaged or get involved with that person, it's like their life has just been slowly, like, moving. Things has not been, at, you know, how it was, you know, and they realize how not at peace that they have been. But just know your person is planning to, like, find a way to get a hold of you, Leo, because they is asking other people about you because they miss you. But I feel like some of y'all could be emotionally unavailable. Maybe at this point, you're just not emotionally available. It's like some of y'all got love for them, but you're not in love with them. That's the energy that I'm picking up on because they do love you. But I feel like at this point, you're just not emotionally available. You're not invested. A lot of y'all are, you know, pretty much focusing on your work or your business, your career. Some of y'all could be expanding y'all business. Some of y'all could be juggling multiple things, multiple, multiple jobs all at once, or maybe even partner up with, you know, other individuals to make some money. But I just felt like when it comes to love, some of y'all are just not available for that right now because you pretty much exposed, focusing on expanding your work, your business, you know, you know, making some money. But just know your person does go on, they they do want to come back, we all. We got the three of wands reversed. And then we got the knight of swords. Alright, what else?
know, spirit in this situation. Yeah, I surely feel like somebody is just not emotionally available for love right now. Some of y'all could just be mixing and mingling. Like I said right here, some of y'all could be dating other people, talking to new people. But when it comes to, like, love, maybe you're just not trying to go there. You know, maybe you're not trying to go to that next route, to that, take it to the next phase or any of that. You're just having fun. But that's what I'm seeing for some of y'all. Yeah, I just feel like you just don't want to love. Some of y'all are not looking to fall in love with somebody. Look, I knew it. You're not emotionally available, and you're not looking to fall deeply in love with anybody because I'm I'm, I'm feeling like you just don't want to be nobody's fool. Some of y'all just, it's like you're taking back the past, like you're going back to the past about how you felt in the past, and you just refuse to be somebody's fool, especially if it's not something beneficial to you, I feel like you just don't want to deal with it, Leo, some of y'all only dealing with people that is going, that you can benefit off of, and, you know, in love, and work, or business, if it ain't benefiting you, I feel like you're not dealing with it, for some of my Leos, okay, that's too many cards, spirit, I'm just going to take this one. Three of Cups, reverse. Okay, some of y'all used to work with this person. Some of y'all used to work with this person, whether this is the, maybe y'all was y'all had a business partnership with this person, or maybe this was your boss, or um, your co-worker, or whatever, but I feel like when it comes to doing business with this person, you're not available. You're just not available to do business with them. You're not available to reconcile with this person. You just don't want to, like, be a fool for this person anymore because you don't want to be involved in an entanglement. Look at the three of cups reverse. Some of y'all was in a poly relationship with this person. And maybe they had somebody outside of y'all poly relationship that you, did just, you just wasn't aware of, you know? It could be something like that. But not everybody. Most of y'all just feel like you're just walking away because you're nobody's fool. And you just don't want to be a third person in a connection, Leo. So it's like you're expanding. It's like you're, you're multiplying your finances and you're subtracting the people. You see what I'm saying? Like the people that just want to huddle and like just be around you, hang around you with you for fun. Like if it's not benefiting you, Leo, you just don't want to be involved with it. You're not about to be hanging around in cliques and, you know, or just shacking up with no man or no woman if it's not benefiting you. You just don't get down like that. A lot of y'all change your mindset when it comes to dating, literally, and when it comes to working with people. It's like your mind is so set on the like, if it ain't about that money, it ain't about nothing. It's 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 worthless. It's useless. It's it's there's no point. You see what I'm saying? But um, I am getting this energy where this person will eventually, you know, try to come back around, and you may reject them. But it's telling me that at this point, they still haven't came back around yet. Some of y'all they did, some of y'all they didn't. But I feel like somebody's just not doing too good, and they could just be back and forth on whether they want to talk to you or not. Because, like I said, they don't, they not even up to par. Like, their own life is not where they want it to be right now. It's like they are guided to come towards you. But with that temperance card, I feel like your person is patiently, like, waiting. They, like, slowly going to, like, come forward, Leo. And it's, it's just that they're trying to think of a plan how to do so because they know they really don't have, they not, some of y'all's person probably really not emotionally available for real. Some of y'all they are, some of y'all they're not. Maybe they were just dealing with you just to have fun, I don't know, or for business or work. But it is telling me that somebody may not be emotionally available either. Like you may not be emotional available and they may not be emotional available. You know what I'm saying? anymore somebody I'm here anymore but it's telling me that a lot of y'all focus on your money if it's not bringing you that coin if it's not building you up it's not adding value to your life there's nothing to do I'm here there's nothing to negotiate about if I can talk oh child but I feel like a lot of y'all could be walking away and maybe they like they could be trying to argue with you Leo yep because you don't want them no more some of y'all's person will come back eventually, but they may try to spark up some form of an argument with you. Yeah, because they broke. You broke free because they broke. They ain't got nothing to offer you, and they still a player. That's how you look at it. 
you look at them as a broke bump. Like some of y'all look at this person like that, you know, and um, if not, like you just, you just don't take them serious, period. You just don't. You break your free for somebody that is, they don't really have pretty much anything to offer. They may try to beg their way back in. Like I said, they may try to argue with you or whatever, but it's because your person really ain't got anything to hold on to. They don't have nothing solid to hold on to. Not a solid person, not really probably no money. Some of y'all, it could be. Some of y'all probably do have money, but you just don't want no player. You see what I'm saying? It could be that also for some of my Leos. But let's pull some, um, matter of fact, let's pull some of these African goddess cards. Some of y'all could just be somebody that is, that has your own business, and maybe it was just using you. Period, Leo. Some of y'all could, because some of y'all was spending a lot on this person, you know, and it was using you. I'm seeing that also. But it's like when they do come back, they still ain't got nothing to offer you. They still haven't changed, you know. But I feel like that's the reason why y'all walking away, because they still ain't got nothing to offer and they still haven't changed. We got effort cords. Yeah, some of y'all have a family with this person. Or maybe they could just still be holding on to somebody else in the background. Yeah, somebody's upset. We got rage right here. Somebody's holding on to somebody in the background. Oh, okay. So, you know what's crazy about the situation? They it never said that they left that other person, so that's what it is. They still connected to somebody else in the background they have been dealing with for years, Leo, that they probably got kids with. Maybe they got at least two kids with this person, and they could be and you could be mad about that. And if y'all have to flip off the energy, maybe you are somebody that are, went back to an ex of yours or continue to deal with an ex of yours. And they could be mad because they come back, you with somebody else. Some of y'all just had started a whole new life, a whole new family. But most of y'all, you just focusing on yourself and your money and your kids, if you have kids. But it is telling me this person is definitely tied to you, Leo. And they could be growing very mad because you have woke up to realize you know, what it is that you deserve, what it is you're going to put up with, and what it is that you're not going to put up with, y'all. Yeah, they mad because you spiritually, you woke. They have been exposed. Like, you've seen everything for what it really is, and you let go. That's why they mad. I feel like you're about to disappoint this person. That's exactly what it's telling me. You, it's like, no matter if you was the good option, the good choice, and you was good to this person at the beginning, no matter how much you gave to your, yourself of this person, how much you lost yourself doing with this person, you have woke up to realize not to never go back. Like, literally. Some of y'all, by the time they come back, you could be pregnant by somebody else. That's if you are the Leo that I'm talking about that has already moved on and started a new life and a new family. The rest of y'all, it could just be your baby mom or your baby dad that's coming back. That's mad because you have um, figured them out and seen them for who they really is. But I don't blame y'all for rejecting this person, Leo, not only because they don't have nothing to give and because they're a player, but this could be a narcissist. You literally lost yourself at one point in time dealing with this person. Like I said, some of y'all was back and forth with this person, in and out of like a lot of drama dealing with this person, knowing it wasn't healthy. So you took it upon yourself to choose yourself and created healthy boundaries and now they miss you. Now they want to come back. But I just feel like this person hasn't changed. Nothing has changed with this person. You know, this could be somebody that is very aggressive when they speak, you know, very arg argumentative, Leo, but I just feel like you have broke free from this person for a reason. You really did, because y'all dealing with somebody who is broke, childish, and you know, a player. One or the other, or both, or all three. I don't know. But y'all just take it resonate. Because some of y'all wasn't dealing with somebody that was broke. Some of y'all definitely wasn't dealing with somebody that was broke. They were just a player, and they was juggling you and another person. Somebody that they could have been engaged to, or married to, or just been with, a karma that they've been with for a while. But you ain't about to get in that. And like I said, even if you do talk to other people, if it's not benefiting you, if it ain't making no dollars, it don't make sense, period. So that's that's just the mindset that I'm seeing for some of my Leos. If it ain't making dollars, it don't make sense. 
Because some of y'all used to be that type of person where you used to take care of a man or you used to take care of a woman. But if this is something that you cannot come together with and create something of value, you don't want nothing to do with it, Leo. Especially if it ain't got nothing to do with no money. We got mask. Look, trying to offer you something. They ain't have nothing to offer. They but deception. Yeah, they wasted a lot of your time, Leo. This is somebody that always claiming that they was too busy at times, Leo, when you were dealing with them. Some of y'all, y'all was dealing with somebody like that. They was always claiming that they was too busy to to to, to like spend time with you, Leo. Wow. They ain't giving up on this. So even if they did come back, Leo, they ain't a lot of shock. That's what it is. Like, you leveled up, Leo, it's going to shock this person. It really is. It's going to shock them. That's what I'm really picking up on. Like I said, y'all do somebody that was very deceptive, that wasted a lot of your time, Leo. You know, always had an excuse on why they couldn't spend time with you. And like I said, you prayed your way, you know, to success. You prayed your way up out of that situation, Leo. And now you have, you know, gained some form of victory. And it has this person shocked. So not only you have gained some form of success, but you have also left. You have also went your separate ways with this person. Like, did I say they're going to be missing you? They said it right here, too. They missing you. They miss the good times y'all shared. They miss the talks y'all had, Leo. They miss just being around you in your presence. They miss that, Leo. And they worry. You got this person very anxious. Because they know they missed out on a good one. They know they 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 missed out on a good one. Like literally, whoever this is, they know that they effed up. This person knows dang well that they messed up. But let's pull a couple kipper cards for some of my real. Yeah, they know they effed up, Leo. Toil and labor. So somebody could be working really, really, really hard for something. Oh, your person is trying to like literally work hard to like change. So, okay, I'm seeing that. Like I said, your person ain't giving up because they in so much shock about you leaving them behind. It's like they have no choice but to grind. They have no choice but to step their game up, Leo. You left this person no choice but to get it together, Leo, without you. Literally. But I strongly feel like, and it is crazy because when they came back the first time, they still was holding on to that other person. But it's telling me that your person eventually will grind their way to be, like, work hard to be a better person. They really is. Whether they have to get a job and grind their way to the top before they come back, you know, so they can be the right person for you. Or whether they have to change their ways. And I feel like it's both. Because we got toil and labor and mature woman. So once they change up, they act a little bit, Leo, your person is going to reach out to you again. Like I said, they ain't giving up on you. Just because you have turned your back on this person don't mean nothing. They are not giving up on you. They are working really, really hard to be a changed person. Literally. But I feel like first they need to get rid of that relationship that they had some form of toxic tie with in the background. So expect this person to like literally reach out to you, Leo, after they make some changes in their life. Because they will. They will eventually reach out to you. But let's pull some Infinity Oracle cards and see what else. Because I strongly feel like some of y'all, your person definitely was dealing with a narcissistic, if I can talk, we're going to say a narcissist, like they was married or engaged to a narcissist man or a narcissist woman, um, Leo. The rest of y'all, this person is a narcissist. We're just going to keep it a honey. Like your person could be a narcissist. 
And y'all know y'all person more than I do. So, like I said, just take what resonates. If you know your person in your heart, if your person is a narcissist, then, then that's what I'm talking about. If you know your person is not, and they was dealing with somebody that is like that, that was, you know, being very difficult and challenging to them in the background, then that's what it is. Like, how your person treats you, you would know if this person was a narcissist or not. But it's telling me when this person come back, y'all listen to y'all intuition with this person. Listen to it. Spirit wants y'all to wake up and listen to y'all intuition. If you toxic, then you probably ain't going to care. But the rest of y'all, if you want a healthier relationship, you're going to have to use discernment. Look, somebody manifesting. Wow. They about to, yes, your person manifesting you back. And you know what's wow? The last spread I just did is telling me that y'all person is manifesting y'all back. So some of my Leos got their exes manifesting them back. They're going to be chasing you, Leo. They're taking action. Like I said, they're not giving up on you. They trying to meet, they trying to meet, they trying to be on your level, step their game up before they come back. Because they know they messed up. Some of y'all felt emotionally manipulated dealing with this person. You know, I'm hearing like you have put a lot into this person or just to give this person your, your energy in general and be around you itself. It was a lot to give. You see what I'm saying? But I feel like some of y'all have fell in love with this person. Wow, they chasing you because they need you. This person needs you, Leo. They're manifesting you back into their life, Leo, because they need you. Wow, some of y'all's person will forever love you. They will forever love you, and that is that is and that's and that's facts. It will always be like that. They are stuck on loving you, Leo. They will forever love you. Meanwhile, you feel out of love with them. Like I said, if it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. But the, they will forever love you, no matter who this is. They will forever love you, Leo. Wow, they could be pretty much heartbroken by this. They could be heartbroken by this situation because they know that they may have left you out in the cold or you have left them out in the cold and you spoke your truth. You may have said something to this person to let them know that, you know, what it is, it is what it is. Like, you're not coming back. Some of y'all have told this person you wasn't coming back and they're still trying to, like, work their way up in this relationship because like I said from the beginning you had this person did come back but you rejected them you know what I'm saying so it's like they come back again and and some of y'all only rejected them the first time because you realize they haven't changed they haven't made no progress and you wasn't allowing this person to get in the second time I just felt like they are working their way up Leo to be a changed man or a changed woman just to be with you because they, ne they will never stop loving you it's sad to say, like, even if this person was a player, even if this person was a cheater, going back and forth between you and another person, they will never stop loving you. And that's facts. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo, and y'all take care.